Get my lights. Put it to work. I'm gonna try to back up this boat into a garage in the night. You wanna do it? You want me to do it? No, you got it. Alright. Oh. Good job. That's Sorry. not a productive day. That's a failed day, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty hard day. Pretty hard day, fishing. Yeah. Pretty hard day. Alright, guys. It's my first Tacoma video. I had this truck for a little bit. I did this mod on my dad's truck, so I figured I'd do a DIY on my truck. It's one of those features that you don't know what you got until you got it. Okay, so I haven't seen anybody do this on any forum or anything. Uh, I think I'm going to claim that I'm the first one to do it, okay? Because there's a lot of options out there in terms of lights and stuff, but the way I have this put together, I think it's a win-win and it's a really simple way to to rig up some lights and it's not the thing that i hate is i don't like the lights hanging off the top of the car i like them i like them uh ducked and put away so the way we got this rigged is it's inside the cab it looks like this okay so when it closes it's gone there's no lights hanging out nowhere it doesn't bring that attractive let's go steal this truck's lights for example so what i'm doing is like i said i've had this mod on my dad's truck for a while i know i do a lot of fishing and in the in the early mornings when you're backing up to a boat ramp or something it's just a pain because you can't see these little stock headlights or stock tail lights so they just don't light up enough so you can't see where you're going especially on boat ramps that are uh, real steep so you need a lot of light and what I have is a flood system. It's an eBay, Amazon, you know, the, I think it's 30 bucks for two or 20 for two, something like that. I'll shoot all the, uh, I have all the stuff in the description below with all the links so you guys can go and buy the exact same thing I got, okay? And this whole thing doesn't break the bank. I think it's 50 bucks plus or minus 20, depending on how fancy you want to get with it. But I got lights here. I got another light. That's still in the package, well, on the full foam support at least. And what it does is it comes with a little bracket that makes it adjustable, and some of the supplied hardware. Okay. And the supplied hardware, how I've got it mounted, just like that. See, that's the that's the adjustability bracket, and I just have it mounted up to a aluminum aluminum one inch angle iron that I've painted black to match the cab. Okay, aluminum silver, it looks like shit when I had on there, so I was like, all right, I'll spray paint it black. And all you do, and this, is, this might apply to other caps, this might not, or this might actually be ARE specific, but I'm sure you guys can make the adjustments on your caps. But all I did was there's two bolts on top that holds the glass onto these giant hinges. We'll wait for that review later. It's one of the re main reasons why I went with the RE cap because this hinge right here. But anyways, you undo those bolts and you put your angle iron, angle iron on there, and you, yeah, just bolt it directly to the drill two holes, bolt it, bolt it to the existing bolts that comes with the cap, and you just want to drill another hole here. I think it's a three eighths, three eighths hole, and you got these four little screws that hold the light on the side. You got that the bigger bolt. Yeah, these are all bolts, they're not screws. Bigger bolt that holds it down onto the hole right there. That's where you mount it. So this is a good time to do this, I figured, because this way you can see how each hinge was assembled. Okay? Kind of like that. Kind of like that. And that's that's the caps for the screws. That's just put back on there. And then you just have this pigtail that comes off. Red and black plus minus 12 volts. You're gonna run it back around the other way, tuck it away. So when it closes, everything goes away. See, there's no crazy looking lights. I'm not in it for that whole off-road look. I'm here for usability. So that's currently how I got it rigged up. Uh, what you need in terms of tools, you know, your basic every man's garage should need uh, drill bits and a drill, of course. Hole punch, uh, maybe. Some sockets, okay. 
and that's pretty much all I got. You know, some basic stuff. And uh, let me show you how the wiring. The wiring is uh, is hard, but it can be made really easy if you buy a ten dollar kit that I'll show here in a bit. All right, let's go over this kit. Uh, this is the kit I recommend. It's an eBay knockoff. No, nah, actually, it's not a knockoff. It's just eBay, no brand name. They're not knocking off anybody. Uh, it's a really good kit. That's all I got to say to start this, this off with. The reason why I say that is because it comes with everything you need. And the price tag is really, really good. It's only like $10 or $12 shipped. Uh, like I said, reference the links below in the video description. I'll shoot you to exactly which one I'm talking about. The reason why I say it's good is it comes with everything you need. It comes with an on-off switch. And it even turns red or green. All right. So that's always there. You have to bring power from the back of from the front of the truck to the back and then you just attach them to this red and black so that's your battery terminals in a sense it even has it's a relay system okay so that's the cool thing about this it's got the relay on it and it's got a fuse on it okay that's what's so good about this because it, this is the way you're supposed to wire up lights and this kit comes ready to go the only thing you'll have to do is, like I said, you might have to do some extensions on the white and the black. This is where your headlight goes out on, or headlight, not headlights, your actual light bars are attached to, okay? And I believe white's going to be positive, black is going to be negative. So your reds are going to be tied to that, your black's going to be tied to that, and that's it. That's all you got. You know, it's really simple. It's a really nice kit. Um, that's all I can say. And like I said, I've been, I used this kit on my dad's truck. It's been four years, and it's it hasn't... It hasn't failed us yet, so high expectations for it, and we should be uh, we should be good, you know. Yeah, there it is, is mounted on the right side or driver side also. And I, what I'm trying to do is, even though if it is a flood, I'm trying to angle it down a little bit, and I'm trying to have it come out to the side a little bit. That way, it's not just straight behind you; it's kind of you know down and out. Same with this one. Same idea. mounted we'll close it up for you so you guys see what's going on That's the deal see that there it is all right let's go finish the wiring and i will demo how it works all right let's do the wiring before we get started with the wiring we're going to need some tools some wire crimpers wire strippers and a whole bunch of these. I don't actually know what I need yet. So that's why I got the whole kit. This is actually a really uh, really nice kit. I think I paid $25 for it. Typically, you cannot get anything like this at your local hardware store. So just go ahead, buy something like this. It's great for the garage, great for future projects, type, that type of stuff. So, and plus, now you know you have everything. So you know when things are getting low, you can just go out and just buy that. And just refill the kit. Like I said, this is the... It's 500 pieces, and I don't even, URL Wall, I think that's the company, I'm not associated with them or anything, but I think they put together a killer kit, and, you know, that's what I'll be using today, for the most part, I'll be using these butt connectors right here, the reason why I like these, these are watertight, once you seal them, they are done, uh, no rust problems, nothing like that, so this is going to be like a 10 to lifetime job, you can say. And they've also included some of these. These are kind of the new things on the block. Haven't really uh, played with them yet. Not a time to play with them right now, so I'm not going to do that. But, yeah, definitely we're going to use these. These are the pink ones. These are the, I think it's 1416. 1416 gauge. Actually, uh, 22. 22 to 16, so that's what we're going to be doing. And as far as wiring, my I had my ARE cap installed brand new from the from the ARE uh, dealer. So what they did they they have already ran this wire for me. This is the wire that comes from the uh, battery, and the other one I, I believe black and red is from the battery, and then the blue and the black is the the tail light. So basically they just plug into the tail light and it lights up this light up here. It's your third brake light right up here. Since your third brake light of the truck on top of the cab is blocked, they have to run a third brake light. To stay legal so as a side effect well not a side effect but i also bought it with this led um light up here 
and that thing's kind of worthless too. We'll probably have to replace that soon. But as you can see, it's also got a red and a black. So the red and black basically comes down here, it runs here, and it goes all the way to the front of the car. It comes with a five amp fuse in it, and I'm gonna replace it with a, well, I'll probably not. I'll probably just keep the five amp and see how the five amp does. If the five amp's no good, then we, all we gotta do is just bump it up to a seven and a half and it should be enough. But I don't think these lights will pull five amps. I think at most they'll pull in one. So we should be good on that. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna basically, I don't like this wiring job, so I'm probably gonna redo it. Um, and we're just basically just gonna tap right off this red black and we will tap it to our harness. This is one beast as harness, okay? I checked the I checked the fuse, the fuse right for 30 amps. We're not gonna even get close to that. So we're gonna splice these into the harness on the ERE. And the cool thing is I thought I think I remember mentioning that we're gonna have to splice in uh two reds to the two two whites, but it actually comes with comes ready to go. Comes ready to go with uh two connections on it already. So it's already set up for two lights. That's a big bonus for us that we won't have, we won't have to run as much uh, extension cables or extension wiring, stuff like that. We will pretty much just do a lot of uh, uh, just zip tying and electrical taping just to make things look clean once it's done. And uh, it should be an awesome project once it's done. Okay, let's discuss the wiring. I did exactly what I said I was gonna do. We're gonna splice these two red lines Owing the red line and the black line into the existing ERE red and black line that was going to go up to the little light. So, this is our harness, comes down to our fuse, and there's a relay. And this is our, uh, where's my button? No, oh, here it is. So, there's my button. Currently, it's red. Green. See? See how it's red and green? Like that. Alright, so it's red. Click the button. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Actually, do it this way. All right. Well, anyhow, that's the wiring. Let's clean it all up, and I'll show you the final product. All right. So there it is. It's done. It looks normal. It looks just like this truck's. I did the mod first on that truck. Then I decided to do it on this one. This is my truck. Nothing here. Say you're trying to back up something. Reset. Say you're just at a campground. You just need more lights. Bam. There it is. It's not a full-blown light bar, but you can use your imagination. There's, there's a lot of mounting space up there. Uh, you can do an entire mounting bar if you want, but I think that's just overkill for me. Um, but there it is. You know, see how it looks. Looks really good, right? And let's turn it on. The switch, I just got the switch dangling here. I mean, you could put it here if you want. It's got the electrical, well, it's got some sticker on it too. So peel that off. You can stick it right there if you want. But I feel it's just easier just to dangle like that. When it's pitch black out, come by, just kind of feel for it. Got it, click it. And that's the lights. All right, click it again. Lights are off. That's all I got it wired up. All cleaned up. And like I said, this is a, you know, it's a DIY, so um, you use your best judgment. And if you're using this to your own, I'm not responsible for any electrical fires that this might cause, but use some basic uh, electronic wiring knowledge and you should be okay. There it is. Check it out. It's gone. Nothing there. All right, it's kind of dark, but let's demo these lights. It's actually pretty cool. The little red thing here, it allows you to find it at night. So, bam. That's, that's the lights. Okay, it's pretty bright. It's lighting up the neighbor's house. Show you guys the difference with it on and off. Okay. 
it's pretty, uh, it's got like a 30 degree spread to the right and to the left. And it goes, you know, um, a good, it goes about a good 30 yards. So it's pretty nice. It's be excellent for fishing. So let me know if you have any questions.